Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve. Now this is kind of the newer version. This is actually a no age statement. So if you have a bottle that's a couple of years old, just double check at the bottom that it doesn't say 18. If it does, then this is not what that is. <laughs> so let me talk a little bit about this particular dram. So this is comprised of about 15 different single malt whiskies, and it was made of a recipe from Sir Alexander Walker II, who was the youngest grandson of the original John Walker. He ended up running Johnny Walker with his brother, George, who was actually the one to design the Johnny Walker logo. And during their tenure at the company, they ended up redoing the recipe for Johnny Walker Black, which was a great decision. Um, they ended up putting out the Swing, which is the only one I don't have here, and the Johnny Walker White, which was later discontinued. So, as I said, this is not the original Johnny Walker Gold. The original Johnny Walker Gold was actually an 18-year version of uh, Blend, and it was designed to be a step between the green and the blue. And you can kind of tell by the year that it came out that that was what its intent was supposed to be. And everything I've read about it says that it was actually a pretty great drink. Now the problem was when they went to the No Age Statement, uh, the opinions kind of changed about the Johnny Walker Gold. In, in general, it's more of a half step now between the green and the platinum. And most people even suggest that you skip it. But let's see where we come after we go through the nosing and the tasting. So. One thing to know is that, uh, or at least for me, I got these little bottles, um, these two, this guy, and the black. I bought the red as a joke because it's Johnny Walker red. <laughs> and uh, I got all four of those as a Christmas gift actually for my wife. And they came in this cool box. And um, if at some point I'm gonna actually do a live stream where I do all of these and I'll, I'll have the box on the live stream. Anyway, so when, when I went to open up the gold, it actually, cut my finger. <laughs> like this thing, I could not for the life of me get it open. So I'd be interested to know if anybody else bought the box or got the box and had a similar issue. I actually had to use a knife to cut it open. So anyway, all right, let's go ahead and get into the nosing. So. Well, the good news about the nose is it's actually pretty good. Um, it's very honey forward. It's kind of got a little apricot in there, some raisin, a little salt water. It's a good combination of a few different things. And one of the nice things I like about this is even though it's a blend, you actually can pick out each individual piece. Sometimes blends are truly a blend and it's a little hard to even tell what it's comprised of as far as the nose. All right, let's go ahead and take a sip. Cheers. So the the main thing that I get right off the bat, the, this is an interesting taste, right? So the, the first thing I get is honey right away. It's like a honey malt. Um, and that's nice. And then it's followed almost immediately by oak and smoke. Uh, mild smoke, but still there, which is a little strange. <laughs> it was unexpected and uh, frankly, honestly, not really appreciated, but we'll go into that too. Uh, after that, it's followed by kind of a zesty orange and I, I don't really love the taste of this. I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. I feel like it's, that is too big of a swing. You know, if, if you went from honey to smoke and then stopped, I would almost appreciate that more than having the, the front be honey, the mid palate be smoke, and then the, the finish be orange. But maybe that's just me. Um, it probably doesn't even sound that bad coming through on video, but I can tell you that the actual taste of it doesn't really work for me. So let's talk about this whiskey overall. Well, honestly, it's nothing special. Um, when I first tried the Johnny Walker Green, moving up from the black, the regular black, my first impression was, wow, this is a big improvement. That's awesome. Um, I didn't get that with this. My hope was that this was going to be as much of a drastic increase, but Realistically, I, or I think that was unrealistic because there's only about a $10 difference. That being said, I, I just don't even see the place of this Johnny Walker Gold. I don't think that the line would suffer without it. Um, and I think it was simply holding on to a variety that they had that was a different blend. Um, either way, this is roughly about $75. And for that, if you got it as a gift, I don't think you would dislike it. I don't. I would not suggest that you go out and buy it. In fact, for me, 
this is in between an ignore it and a try it. Um, you should definitely try it if you get the op opportunity, but if you're on the fence, I would say don't buy this dram. All right, that does it for me uh, for this week on the Whiskey Dictionary. I will see you next time. Have a good rest of your night. Cheers.